infrared fluorescence photography uh, for art examination. We want to test uh, this method on this historical map. This map uh, is dated early 18th century and it is colored. We wonder if these uh, colors are original, authentic, or they have been added lately. Okay, we will test uh, this uh, method with uh, the technical photography kit. So we put the lamp over here, the, the map over here, and we use the camera modified for UV, visible and infrared. Then we use uh, the UV lamp Fabrizio, uh, this lamp uh, is used for this uh, technique, the infrared fluorescence photography. Sometimes we also use the visible only lamp, the Alice lamp. Uh, then we want to use the Robertina filter set. So we start with putting on the visible filter on the camera. And then from the pigment checker, we want to use the calibration card so we are sure that uh, the images we are taking are done correctly. Okay. We start now the software to, um, to collect the image and, uh, and now we can go into live view Okay, there it is. So at least uh, we have an area that is uh, representative uh, of all the colors of the of the map. Uh, we can take we can take the image of this uh, um, visible image, so just a standard photo, uh, nothing special, and then we go we prepare for the infrared fluorescence experiment. So we turn on the um, UV lamp Fabrizio, so that which goes directly in front of the camera. Then we remove the visible filter and we apply the IR filter, the infrared filter over here. And uh, we go now into live view okay. and uh, we want also to turn off all the other lights um, the problem is not the visible but the problem is that uh, there could be some infrared so we turn off the lights uh, and we increase the exposure let's make it like five seconds And there it is. Okay, so we start to see something over here. We s on the top, uh, we see the um, calibration card, so which is made of cadmium red. And this material is a fluorescent, fluorescent when we have uh, this illumination with UV or visible. Um, so we see that in the map, uh, we have areas that uh, also emit uh, radiation so these are area that could be cadmium red to confirm the hypothesis about cadmium red we need to use a spectroscopic method the, uh, in this case the the easiest one will be to use xrf spectroscopy so we're gonna see if there is the cadmium of cadmium red so we're gonna use this system uh, it goes under here, we go into the red area and, and we are ready to actually take this measurement. We do the experiment, the measure, the XRF spectrum, and indeed we see here a strong peak from, cad from the cadmium at 23 keV. And also here we see at 11.2 keV the peak 
of selenium that is associated with the cadmium red. We now look at the pigment checker timeline and we see that cadmium red was introduced to the market as a pigment in about, at about 1910. So definitely this uh, uh, coloring, at least for the cadmium red uh, that we found, was done later than the, uh, the time of the map.